Well, people here at home and all around the nation are mourning the loss of one of the key figures in the civil rights movement. Juanita Abernathy died Thursday and is credited for the freedoms that we all enjoy today. WVTM 13 Chip Scarborough joins us live in Birmingham. And Chip, this really hits home for some folks here in Birmingham. Yeah, Ian, Juanita Abernathy really reshaped society as we know it today, and she did so right here in Alabama. Those who knew her say her contributions shouldn't be underestimated. Mrs. Abernathy was a very spirited person. She was very outspoken. Andrea Taylor is director of the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. She didn't just know Juanita Abernathy as a leader in the civil rights movement, but also as a friend. So her son Kwame and my son Wole uh, became friends while they were in college and we remain friends with the family. So it's, it's very personal. It's a personal loss for us as well in that regard. Perhaps one of Abernathy's greatest accomplishments was organizing the Montgomery bus boycott in 1955, a protest against racial segregation on public transportation. She's one of the last of the foot soldiers of that generation who was actively involved. The 88-year-old was the wife of the late Dr. Ralph Abernathy. She worked with him and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to also ensure everyone had the right to vote. Her family was at risk uh, constantly and it was a very, very challenging personal experience to be directly involved in the movement and at the same time raising a family. Abernathy eventually left Alabama and moved to Atlanta where she was involved in the desegregation of schools. She leaves a, a really tremendous legacy of service and commitment to, to the movement. Juanita Abernathy died in Atlanta this week after complications from a stroke. She leaves behind three children and four grandchildren. Coming up at six, hear why a local bishop says she was a no-nonsense activist. For now live in Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.